Hello everyone, this is a pretty special video I'm gonna do here right now, by the way, live recording, no editing, so, and furthermore, this is gonna be also pretty much a live translation reaction uh, type of video, where I'm gonna be uh, watching a video from my uh, fellow content creator and giving uh, uh, the translation of my opinions, and essentially gonna comment on a pretty important topic that's uh, pretty much kind of like a world phenomenon right now, and uh, also, I believe this is going to be useful for my community as well, because the, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of misunderstanding goes towards the Genshin Impact in general. And I would like to clear some of the uh, thoughts and uh, maybe misconceptions about Genshin Impact. So, the theme of the video, Genshin Impact and uh, the the gaming industry in the whole. And uh, this is going to be like one of those red pill type videos. Um, so, of course, <laughs> you might agree or disagree, that's totally fine. Uh, there's gonna be like some harsh truths uh, spit on uh, from time to time, and I also will comment on that. But yeah, let's get, let's get uh, started. I'll be pausing a video, of course, and all that. This is the live translation. Um, I have to explain a couple things here. So, by the way, uh, the Nuke73 is uh, my uh, Russian fellow content creator. Uh, since uh, we've been known since many years, I'm actually going to talk about him uh, personally maybe in a later part of the video. And there's some cool things I want to mention, but for now it's irrelevant. Let's let's start. So uh, he also uploaded uh, his video. I'm going to link it in my description. Uh, it's full in Russian, obviously. But uh, what caused this to happen? Yeah, there was a big question from the chat. I was, oh, by the way, I was live on a stream when it happened. So uh, there was a big question. Uh, I'm not going to directly translate everything because they have scuffed the Russian language and it's kind of really hard to translate it. But the idea of the question is that uh, the person was just trying to ask uh, the nuke, the streamer, uh, his uh, view of uh, why the, the Genshin is perceived in a, such a negative way. Uh, by a lot of people still, while like there's the comparisons to the grind fest and uh, the mobile industry, the, the PC, the gaming consoles, and uh, basically, like, he wanted to know his stance on uh, the influence of the Genshin Impact and uh, how, why it blew up and uh, why so, so many people still misunderstand the situation. So, and uh, th th that question procced uh, the nukes. Uh, idea to just stop playing the game and make his own speech about it. Let's go. Yeah, he's saying uh, it's, it's a perfect timing to make a speech because he got disconnected from the multiplayer here. Okay, so at one point in my career of streaming career, he's been doing it for nine years and he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't stop saying it because he's very proud of it. I mean, still, you know, and uh, still strong and kicking for nine years in the uh, streaming industry. It's amazing, right? So uh, maybe around like four years ago, he uh, understood really important thing for himself. So there is a... So there's uh, two two parts of gamers, yeah, the the majority and minority. That's uh, common sense, kind of, but still, that's a very important uh, part of this discussion. And uh, the minority is always going to be shouting and uh, doing the noise uh, way louder than uh, the majority. And uh, the minority, for some reason, always have a way of or reason for not understanding. And after he realized this uh, personally in uh, Nuke's career, he, he like, time was passing and passing, and then he... Genshin. And then he... Um, uh, th then he was brought up towards the Genshin phenomenon. Essentially, in, uh, to give the context, he, the nuke was uh, before um, 
a variety streamer. He was focused on Nintendo games a lot, uh, like one of the biggest uh, actually Russian fanboys of Nintendo brand and indie games, uh, retro games and all sorts of things like that. But then Genshin happened. Вот, потому что я иногда считаю Геншин венцом творения на данный момент. And uh, by the Nuke's opinion, he thinks that a Genshin Impact is currently what you call in the gaming industry is crown of creation. And uh, I can, of course, start adding my opinion here and there, but uh, let's do it later. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Genshin definitely deserves that title, even though a lot of people might not agree with this, but uh, we need to get deeper into this, of course. Игровой индустрии, как в свое время венцом творения был Half-Life. So just like Genshin Impact is a crown of creation right now, it's just like in the past, Half-Life was the thing. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Ну что там еще? Portal 2. Portal 2. Прям реально знаковые игры. Yeah, just like the most important of the, the generation games that left a mark on the gamers and uh, uh, building up the gaming as it is. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Zelda Breath of the Wild. В том числе Skyrim даже. Skyrim. Его многие не любят, но он тоже. Even though Skyrim is the game that a lot of people didn't enjoy. В свое в свое время был прям. Well, the yeah, Skyrim uh, by the time of its release was a huge thing, uh, for sure, for sure. Венцом в этом плане. Немного любви для Ярика. Uh, ignore that part, that's uh, he, he got uh, he, Nuke have redemption point channel system on his Twitch channel where if somebody's gonna give him currency, he will um, kiss with the fingers and uh, give the love to a viewer. <laughs> Pretty cute, by the way. And yeah, and uh, now the, the turn is for the Genshin Impact, for to be to that game. Естественно, людям очень тяжело, поскольку... And uh, the, pe the people, especially the minorities, they're kind of like... They're just confused. They, 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 they cannot accept this. What is going on? Genshin, для меня, он совершил ту же революцию, что... Genshin, for me personally, managed to create that revolution. Когда-то совершили игры... Just like uh, back in the day, uh, the, the, the platformers... Uh, when they were platformers were exclusively 2D and then they moved suddenly to 3D uh, the realm. То есть раньше все играли, то есть вот если посмотреть, например, на развитие, сначала там были 2D платформы, потом стали 3D, и наверняка тоже были такие люди, которые говорили, да ну нахуй там. Yeah, like there was all, also back in the day in, in people who were like, couldn't accept the reality that, oh no, the 2D platformers are still gonna be the, the best thing, I, I don't accept this 3D, what is going on, what the fuck? 2D лучше, все дела. Вот то же самое с Геншином. Просто нужно, во-первых, нужно принять то, что большинство диктует все равно. The, then he says that you just need to kind of start accepting the simple fact that uh, the majority is going to be dictating uh, um, oh, exactly. Большинство диктует все равно большинство. Yeah, the, the majority is going to dictate basically the out outcome of how the, the hype and the, you know, the social aspects and uh, all these things gonna go. И для тех, кто много кричит и пытается чего-то там как-то оправдать, вот то, что ты написал, они просто остались... And the uh, um, minority, the ones who are trying to shout, make noise, uh, they try to make excuses and uh, write down huge posts about it, just like uh, you did it. Uh, the, he's referencing to the person in the chat who wrote down the huge question there. And they have a hard time accepting the truth. Uh, because uh, the the shouting minority sometimes also gets their own bonuses and advantages, and it's not something you should ignore. And now he's going to talk about a Last of Us example, which in his personal opinion the game is garbage. Uh, uh, and uh, some kind of, uh, you know, like, he talks a lot about here uh, Last of Us properties, but uh, uh, then I had to actually contact the, the nuke here uh, later privately um, to try to um, 
uh, since it was during live stream, he he obviously gonna make some like uh, maybe scuffed statements uh, and uh, not not fully understandable, I guess. Uh, so I had to purposely like ask him question uh, what he actually meant there with the Last of Us. Uh, as, um, I couldn't actually understand too well. Well, uh, the idea was that um, uh, he wanted to bring attention towards the Last of Us example because uh, uh, there was this... The, the game sold still very well because uh, there was this unique combination where uh, because of the minority, um, uh, the shoutings and all that, uh, the interests... Uh, were united together and that minority gave the huge boost towards the game's sales and attention and hype and the majority is also wanted to try it out and su support them in a way and uh, even though like the there's many other examples of uh, AAA games uh, similarly on that scale on uh, uh, such as Lost of Us and the developers there's definitely are but uh, it just uh, was good timing and alignment of uh, good manipulation of the media i guess uh, they i mean did invest a lot of money after all that but also another example is the pokemons here yeah so the game is constantly being trashed by the the opinions like the next generation oh no they're like lazy assets you know less pokemons they're just uh, awful mechanics like what they're doing at that and <laughs> at the end of the day the the next pokemon is going to sell again and again and the more and uh, it doesn't work uh, for the people who are like trying to cancel it and all that. So yeah, sometimes these, sometimes it works, and that's what uh, he wanted to yeah, basically I explain here. So there is like a, ex could be exceptions. Last of Us is a по мнению большинства игра, которую купило огромное количество людей, даже если мы закроем на глаза, например, на некоторые хитрости, которые нам это показывают, то что yeah. я купил много количества людей, то есть его могло купить меньше людей. I already translated that part. Just uh, I had to re rephrase uh, his opinion here uh, through our conversation later here. Произошло, то произошло. Вот. И поэтому как бы им просто повезло на самом деле, потому что yeah, they got lucky. Last of Us она не настолько игра, которая объединяла большое количество народу. И... And it's not the game that was uniting like a lot of people globally, you know, that the total domination. И что самое смешное во всей этой ситуации? And the... one of the best parts about the situation, he thinks. Это то, что как это не удивительно, но на конце and uh, even though even though there's consoles and Nintendo and their games have been uniting gamers and all sorts of people for 30 plus years right and then there's a PC and the PC generally have steam and for the people associate the gaming with the steam yeah and the steam has been around for like approximately uh he said uh, 20 ish years yeah well i keep in mind that this is not the facts so the, if, if you want to google the wikipedia he's literally live streaming and you know he's not gonna bother uh check exact numbers and uh, the dates and stuff like that и там вот игры тоже объединяет огромное количество людей на протяжении сколько там стимул ну 25 да 20 не 20 лет плюс минус короче пусть будет плюс плюс минус 20 years вот потому что у Nintendo это все длится очень 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 давно и долго and Nintendo for Nintendo side yeah it's just it's it's going on for forever yeah and uniting process and uh, the people got used to it they they, they, they always will cherish Nintendo and uh, on the PC you have the Dotas and all these various popular uh, MOBAs and uh, the online shooters and stuff like that and uh, various grind fests there's a good word in Russian called Drachilne. <laughs> How to properly translate it, I guess, in this situation. It's like a, it's a mix of, a, well, it's like master, it's masturbation plus a grind. 
So yeah, <laughs> grind masturbation type of action when you're talking about gaming. <laughs> but yeah, grind fast. I guess that that'll be the word I'm gonna make here. И плюс киберспорт. И вот, cybersport. Там всем люди тоже сидят, то есть там любые шутаны, например, взять. Ну, Shooters. Опять, там Blizzardские игры еще туда же. Тоже Blizzard хуже. games. Ту же степь. Вот все к этому супер привыкли. А на кон... Everybody got used to that. На консолях особо ничего, если не считать Nintendo, там особо. Ну... Okay, uh, but in cons, uh, in console sphere, outside of Nintendo, is not really much. Какие франшизы вы можете вспомнить? Well, what kind of franchises you can remember off the bat, which have like character names that you can just rem you hear the name and you're like oh my god that's that franchise yeah the dead franchise of the tomb raider huh? god of war god of war god of war maybe Halo, maybe. But in Russia, who, who gives a shit about Halo? It's more like uh, American side of things. Uh, FIFA games, you know, all these sports simulators. Final Fantasy, eh. It's a JRPG and like a niche things. And his, uh, it's obviously his opinion, yeah, and uh, this uh, part of the truth here, but he's uh, here saying that, let's be real, like, most people don't give a shit about JRPGs and, uh, like, on that kind of grand scale. And yeah, uh, as uh, from personal experience, uh, I, I mean, during my career of 11 years on streaming, uh, <laughs> streaming JRPGs is very tough. Even uh, the ones that are quote unquote overrated ones, uh, such as Persona 5 or something like that, it's uh, these type of games is really it, it's incredible quality and content. But for some reason, well, I mean, I know what why the reason. It's just not the the game where you can make your brand off really. No type of genre. I mean, where you can just blow up uh, and uh, get popular and all that. Get a lot of stability, money, and uh, essentially career. Mm. Uh, by the way, you probably noticed that I am uh, translating parts <laughs> before he even says that. That's because I watched the video several times to kind of prepare already. A little bit of ideas that uh, I mean I don't have a script here to translate him. I'm actually live translating it, by the way. But uh, I already watched it before, and I also watched it live, so I kind of heard his uh, voice already on that matter. So I just remember by memory. Sports simulators. Dark Souls exists, but it's also on a PC, so... Yeah. Uh, the, right, uh, he, people... Well, uh, the discussion was about uh, the franchise of uh, consoles, yes, yeah, specifically, but uh, he's also starting to mixing PC stuff, and uh, some games in a later in the future got their PC ports. Uh, this is gonna get... This is gonna get a little messy here, but uh, it's not important. Persona is too niche. Persona is too niche. No, 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 no. We're not going to talk about JRPGs. They're fuck, fuck off. Uh, we're talking about. We're talking about games that are completely like for everyone, made for everyone to enjoy. Uh, name the hero from that game, and everybody's going to recognize it. Uh, just for example, Doom. Doom PC game as well. And why am I even talking about all this bullshit? So I am leading with all these arguments and bullshit. What I'm going for here? And uh, yeah, the people are just having a hard time to accept this. So, so that Genshin is exactly the same Drachilnya, which is uh, the you know, masturbation slash grind fest kind of game. Which, uh, which uh, majority is playing right now. And uh, 
Another uh, main argument is that before uh, Gensh, it's not... Uh, wait, let me repeat that again. Ah, Gensh made a, a, a once huge step forward compared to others. Because uh, uh, before that, uh, a lot of people uh, were just not even uh, knew the genre of gachas and uh, stuff like that. The gachas were kind of like a mainly niche thing, but I can discuss this uh, later on as well about this. And I'm by me, I mean actually me here. <laughs> yeah, this is probably confusing as well. What I'm referencing, referencing to my own personal opinion versus his. But yeah. Yeah, the, he's now saying that uh, there was many hundreds of thousands 2D gotchas, even 3D gotchas, but nobody cared. Because gotcha, but... there's a Honkai impact, the game that was uh, the, another Mihoyo's game, by the way, and it's a high quality 3D gacha game, but nobody cared about it because it has, has its own like small world and there was all the other many factors that were kind of against uh, the, the whole like ex uh, the social explosion of the game, so to speak. Honkai impact, but he didn't even notice it, just because he was a little small in his own world. And uh, Genshin, on the other hand, just uh, it got everything played uh, in the right uh, hands in terms of the timings and the luck. One of the uh, one of the first gachas ever to release like this globally without any issues. Yeah, that's actually. Uh, this is a very good point because I, by the way, I'm a gacha player since uh, 2014. I played a lot of different mobile games and what's not. I have quite a few strong opinions about the revolution of the genre. But yeah, it, it is true. Like a lot of Japanese games, they, they get like several years of delayed content compared to the global versions. Chinese as well do the beta tests beforehand. And it sucks. Like Fate Grand Order, one of the best... Uh, innovators of the gachas, uh, uh, or at least before. The, 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 we have two the year delay still with the global version, yeah. Uh, Arcanites have the delay for the, the Chinese uh, server and many, many games. So like, I mean, this persisted in MMOs on PCs as well, like Korea game, Korean games and what's not, or Chinese MMOs also. We generally had to wait for the delay. It sucks. It just truly really sucks when the game is also not even released at all in your region and you have to do some uh, some hacker man action, you know, uh, to manage to re be able to play it and uh, create accounts. And uh, I remember when uh, you had to do some fancy things to do, like if you wanted to play some awesome K uh, Korean MMO, you had to make like account in unknown language, like make tutorials. People were using some translation pages and what's not the era before VPNs, yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> When the game literally releases globally for so many languages, so many vo voice uh, acting packages, uh, multi-platform, cross-platform, across saves, holy shit, this is like... And the, the Genshin is also free and... and quality of AAA games and I mean I am jumping ahead too much on information uh, Nuke is also going to talk about it but yeah the, there's so many factors that uh, Genshin uh, did it right also the timing uh, well let's just go forward with the Nuke's opinion here I will also continue with my own yeah, the, he's saying the Chinese usually do the beta tests for their games, um, usually like for a year or two. Speaking of which, 3D gadgets and everything and revolution genres, there's uh, Genshin Impact, right? It's, it's a phenomenon, it's a successful game right now. But there's another game I, I had my eyes on right now, it's called Girls Frontline 2, but unfortunately uh, I'm calling it right now, right here on this video. That game will not blow up at all. It's uh, it's by the what is this? It's like a kind of like next next gen XCOM with Vifus. Yeah, the the, it, the gameplay on a mobile looks phenomenal. Yeah, but uh, what the problem is that the game is currently aimed at uh, Chinese market only and uh, English. Like it's going to be who knows when. 
is delayed and uh, this I believe no PC client right now as well so it's strictly for mobile there um, but it's a very shame because there's a lot of I can see the value I can see a lot of like assets uh, quality uh, the 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 gameplay the most importantly is really fun especially for us lovers of strategy turn-based tactical stuff but yeah i will say yeah the genre of course is uh, the open world rpg exploration versus like uh, tactical xcom but then again there's always going to be people who will catch and win the, but yeah it's not going to blow up even though it's probably it deserves some kind of more attention but uh, even uh, my ex example from my community and the people who are very dedicated to XCOM franchise. But the moment I posted on my Discord about this game, uh, Girls Frontline, like I think only one person actually knew about it. The rest of them were super surprised with like open eyes. Is, is this real? Wow, I want this. Like actually, just, there's no exposure. Yeah, the people. Well, you, you probably will watch the video as well, and you're gonna maybe get interested to Google that game for the chance. But yeah, it's just one of the examples. There's also other uh, possible interesting gadgets that's being developed right now, especially after the like, Genshin's like blew up and everything. Some people are actually kind of trying to uh, figure out how to. Um, uh get the f footsteps of them to make a successful um game but it, whatever let's continue yeah the the genshin impact uh, got the uh, right hand in terms of uh, the correct uh genre you know the uh, not correct uh, the translation would be um uh, the the trendy genre of the game that is uh, very very uh, clever uh, a lot of languages support for the Genshin. And yeah, speaking of support, Genshin is doing a phenomenal job on supporting. Their official site supports so many languages. It's fluently working on PC, mobile devices. The official the community site, the OYO lab thing as well, the integration between games. The, the game itself now have actually like built in like... Um, through site you can just link everything uh, your character your loot your gear your stats your like everything account based it's, it's incredible it's like perfect cell wow like i don't know whatever game you're playing these days and it's it's so much money they're poured into it as well <laughs> incredible incredible uh, the Chinese developers did, uh, he's saying that uh, they prepared and they, well, did the right thing and got lucky in, as well in the process. And also another very important argument goes on. So they released the Genshin at the good timing window when the entire gaming industry was like affected by i mean COVID is a serious problem yeah but uh, it's true yeah a lot of uh, AAA. i noticed this as well a lot of AAA like <laughs> triple a devs and uh, the publishers they became they, they got a reason to be like even lazier and uh, try to get away with even less than before uh it's obviously case by case situation here but generally speaking uh yeah what he's gonna say right now it's uh, it, it, i agree with this i'm sorry that we have COVID here we we're not gonna make games for you we 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 just we just released new consoles playstation 5 we just released a new xbox please buy our consoles but we don't have games in them <laughs> please buy our consoles oh you have to get them through the scalpers oh good luck with that <laughs> Oh, no games, no games. Please buy our consoles. Please buy, please buy. There, there you go, guys. We, we DLC released here. Take it. There is some cheap ass remake that we spent almost no money on and just managed to scrap it in like five minutes. Here's a remake for your. <laughs>
Клепали на коленке за 5 минут. Ну, пожалуйста, 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 пожалуйста. А еще мы наигрываем. Oh, yeah, the... Вам цены получат. Oh, yeah, in Russia there was also, uh, specifically in Russia that's a problem, but I assume other maybe countries got this problem. Oh, but <laughs> while this is also happening, let's increase the price of uh, video games by 33%. So instead of 4K rubbles, uh, now you pay 6K rubbles. <laughs> Please buy your games more. Только, пожалуйста, купите. Ну, пожалуйста, пожалуйста, uh, he's uh, he's probably talking about the Nintendo situation. They just yeah, that was so so not cool. Especially when uh, Russia with rubble right now is really struggling. Like what the hell, man? Пожалуйста, пожалуйста, ладно. Игра стоила четыре тысячи на консоли рублей. Теперь стоит шесть. Пожалуйста. Oh, maybe it's uh, not just Nintendo. Other console prices uh, for PlayStation, Xbox. I'm not sure, but Nintendo definitely increased the prices there in Russia. And yeah, in that moment in the uh, gaming industry, uh, obviously all the stigma and negativity towards the something that people got used to and they were not really attracted towards this development, the Genshin got released and it was like a salvation here moment in a way. Yeah, definitely good timing for sure. And in his opinion, uh, I, he also believes that cyberpunk was the reason why the Genshin blew up as it is. The failure of uh, cyberpunk. Every, everybody was just, uh, both PC and uh, console gamers were just like praying that this is going to be the, the next gen, you know, revolution, the game that they're, but, well, yeah, overhyped to... To sky, that's for sure. And uh, at the end of the day, what we got is that a lot of people just were fighting against each other in terms of opinions and were like shit talking and uh, all sorts of negativity. And there's some people that liked it and truly wanted to enjoy it, but a lot of people were just like, bruh. <laughs> Что про киберпанк точно нельзя сказать, что он понравился всем. Yeah, so at least we can agree with the fact that Cyberpunk is the game that uh, not exactly all the people enjoy it, you know? And let's just uh, not forget about the whole situation that Cyberpunk is even officially removed from, like, they removed it from sales on PlayStation Store until they, it got later returned after many months. But there's a huge warning about it that we don't recommend buying the game. <laughs> oh man, even to this day, Cyberpunk is such a meme, honestly. And it's a shame because, I mean, the CD Projekt, you know, The Witcher and everything. and but the reputation of cyberpunk is truly ruined. And now also leakers and the, the, the private information stuff. And uh, well, that's a, that's a complete, that's a, we can make a video about that on a separate topic. Yeah, and uh, he's comparing the situation of people not liking get, uh, I mean, not liking the cyberpunk versus the Witcher 3 worldwide acclaimed success. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is definitely hard to find a person who is going to actually legitimately hate Witcher 3. And yeah, another point is that uh, the Cyberpunk was absolutely not ready game, full of bugs and all that thing. The Genshin, on the other hand, while the quality of Genshin impact uh, Region 1-2, Mondstadt and Leo is obviously... Uh, bill, uh, weaker than we have uh, on Inazuma, and that's a different topic I'm going to talk about later. But yeah, uh, the Genshin had pretty much flawless performance in all in that regard. Of course, there was some like minor bugs and all that, but you get compensated with currencies when they happen. Uh, but uh, everything was working, quests were working, the battles, there's no like um, problems. You know, the gacha issues usually are in terms of bugs and all that. It's just like skill description is not proper, the text is wrong or the some math is uh, wrong. You know, that that's kind of issues generally the gacha games have. The performance and on the other hand, everything working, it was lawless, yeah, which is a, pack, a great, great argument in the, uh, the favor of Genshin here, for sure. And once again, people cannot just accept this. Oh, yeah. 
Его все игнорируют, его и все... Yeah, the, the, a lot of people in the media are trying to ignore the Genshin Impact. shit on it, especially journalists are... Well, right now, honestly speaking, uh, some outla- outlets are trying to catch on the hype of uh, Genshin leaks and get, actually starting to t- change their view because how much money uh, Genshin poured recently into YouTube and Twitch and maybe they actually poured money into even some outlets as well, who knows. But Genshin earns so much money. We're gonna talk about it later. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, just a few, several months ago, for sure, that was a thing where like all, uh, people were just closing eyes on it, shit, trying to shit in the game, make some remarks, even though it's not deserving at all. And uh, just still cannot accept the fact that the Genshin, the free to play, like, uh, you know, open world game that was inspired by Zelda Breath of the Wild, this game earns 100 millions approximately each month. 100 millions. And this is not like some, you know, Activision Blizzard Candy Crush game or stuff like that. We're talking about full experience here that is constantly expanding the life service. That's the story is going forward. There's more locations, more characters constantly, more gameplay styles. It's constantly evolves and updates and it's free, dude. Больше 100 миллионов баксов каждый месяц. Каждый месяц и при этом продолжает развиваться, продолжает делаться лучше, еще лучше, еще лучше. Огромная комьюнити, куча мемов. The huge community, a lot of memes, a lot of fan art. Uh, when, uh, no matter where you go, there's gonna be Genshin in your face. Okay, so he's starting to bring a lot of cool, interesting arguments, but I'm gonna discuss this uh, right now, um, the ones he just mentioned. The huge community, memes, art, it is truly like the case. I mean. Even people, like, it's not specifically here, the people are here for the anime status who are not. Uh, he's gonna tell it later in the video, but it, it's indeed. Half of the players of Genshin Impact is, that they don't even care about the, the anime aesthetics. Uh, they just play through the gameplay and the, the cartoon world here that, uh, you know, is basically similar to Zelda's uh, the Breath of the Wild. So that, if you think it's all, oh, it's all weeps, no, the entire world right now is like captured by the game. You don't believe me? Go to the Twitter or Facebook, Twitter, literally, life example. In fact, today that's happening. So a few days ago, the Genshin was worldwide trending with 500,000 tweets about uh, Inazuma uh, characters. 500,000 tweets worldwide trend while on other hand for instance uh, popular uh, american trends or even the worldwide trends when it's blow up in the gaming industry or when outside of it so kotaku made an oopsie kotaku is one of the f- most famous uh, journalist sites kotaku made a oopsie and that is a trending as well and how much they're trending for 10,000 tweets but it's enough for trending so Genshin just completely blows out of water everything. You can see like even elderly discussing freaking Genshin on uh, on Facebook pages. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not even joking. But yeah, uh, the TikTok videos, all these simping videos on YouTube, all clips, the videos, the funny jokes, memes, the uh, all the creative stuff that happens. A lot of uh, art, a lot of uh, safe for work art, not safe for work. This is actually another important aspect of successful gacha game and what's not. People are just making uh, art all over the place and uh, that gives a lot of exposure boost. They, they like seeing the art, they like to, you know, do the things. Uh, of course, there's going to be degenerates and all that, but uh, let's not talk about it. Um, the it all creates this flux of uh, cycle of attention people talking about characters they want to know about them uh, you see probably on tiktok all these videos like musical uh, the clips of characters and doing their weapon animations attacks and what's not uh, and uh, another thing uh, is successful for Genshin is that this game is actually fair with the both genders. Uh, the, there's a lot of representation for uh, males and females. 
characters. A lot of uh, gachas are exclusively aiming, uh, going for, uh, you know, waifu element, uh, but not here. Here we have, like, characters like Zhongli, for instance, and I personally as well freaking, like, you know, easily can sim for such... Uh, <laughs> I mean, not only the character design or personality, but their voice actors is an important thing. The, 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 the Mihoyo is spending so much money, probably, like, close to a million, I would even say, on some of the voice actors, because how expensive they are, like, so really famous uh, CVs, uh, voice actors, yeah, in the English side of things, in Jap Japanese side of things, and, well, I'm not that familiar with Chinese side of things, but I'm pretty sure there's also some famous people there. Yeah, uh, so it's another attraction, people who know these voices from either, like, other games or anime or some f movies, or the even some... I mean, the upcoming character Sayu is voiced by Lily Pichu. Like, and a lot of people and uh, people are gonna support just because they're gonna roll for this character just because it's Sayu, uh, uh, because it's uh, Lily Pichu, and then there's a lot of uh, fan base for that. Just an example, yeah. And yeah, the Zhongli, uh, the male character that I just uh, uh, mentioned, he's like, he's his, his deep voice, the his posture, his stance, his uh, charisma. His, uh, his, his storyline in actual game, like uh, his quests are nicely done, uh, which uh, uh, supplements the simping action basically, and not just for Zhongli, but other characters as well. There's, like this is the thing you're you're gonna see, and and another important aspect of why there's such a success for the memes, media, arts, and talking about the Genshin is that each character it's a human it's actually a human it's it's not some humanoid combination of like demons angels or like monsters and undead whatever like raid shadow legends for example or wow or like dota or these uh, freaks of some kinds of mute uh, uh, mutants, uh, zombies, uh, robots, it's actually humans with their own feelings and uh, stories and uh, personalities that people can relate to to the character. There's, there's character for everyone, there's a step on me mommy character, there's like gentle, gentle like mommies, there's the there's just uh, there's lollies that people want to pet pet, there's just a uh, cute girlfriend kind of characters, there's just some gorgeous woman, you know, aesthetics, uh, I don't know, uh, the cat girl, like, for instance, the, the character that's displayed uh, right now on the screen, uh, Kachin, uh, people, like, the feature character is gonna bring some fancy, like, Tanuki character, yeah, the Saya, just, just the, the mermaid character is coming soon, uh, I could talk about it more, but yeah, um, people like to relate to these characters, and it's human that this is important. They, it's easier to draw, well, not easier to draw, but it's like more acceptable to draw. People would like to see more of that, and like, can you simp for Dota characters? Can, can, well, yeah, of course you can, there's uh, rule 30, 34 for everything, yeah. But, like, I mean, it's all uh, more niche, obviously, and all that. <laughs> and, uh, not even gonna want to have this uh, thought in my mind for too long, but you get the idea. Um, the, the Dota, for example, yeah. Have you ever seen on your timeline on uh, Twitter or Facebook or, like, Discord server or, tw or TikTok the, some kind of, some kind of, like... I don't know, content or simping action towards the characters there. First, well, the Dota is also kind of like old one, but I mean, the Apex Legends or any other modern, uh, modern, uh, popular Western games, like, uh, do you see characters or like Overwatch? Yeah, I don't know. I need to also think about examples here, but because it's really hard. I, I just, yeah, and you, if you think, oh, I'm just following a bunch of accounts. No, I follow all sorts of artists, Western, Japanese, Chinese, all sorts of world. And I follow all of the gaming trends. My job as a streamer and a content creator, I follow industry and I see like all these things that happen I, with Activision Blizzard and the news. It's not just the, you know, yes, I, I like the anime aesthetic and stuff. It's not a secret. So there's a bonus points for me to get attracted to Genshin Impact. But no, I see a lot of other topics and what is trending, what is not. And 
uh, it's just it, like how could you deny the facts of how this is literally today as I record this video, to, uh, the the July 24th, there's a many leaks for the version 2.1, the next version for the Genshin Impact. The Twitter is trending again with Genshin. It's, it almost happens every day, but yes, it's trending again. There's Baal animations leaked uh, and uh, her, her weapons the st style and her idol animations, her voices. There's the other characters leaked and uh, the locations for new islands of Inazuma are leaked. Uh, people are talking, discussing hype. So, so, so that cycle, cycle, that's crazy. And people it's just, it's, it's like a normal thing right now to do. And uh, in a bigger picture, once again, this is this, this is the game that's, you know, it's one of those games that you just grind, play, enjoy, and there's no, nothing like weird taboo. Oh, it's, uh, it's just uh, it's this weird stigma because it's a mobile game and it has to be, you know, you know all this, oh, it's a mobile game, gotcha, it's gonna drain your money. Yeah, it does have gotcha, but guess what? Uh, this is not your shitty Raid Shadow Legends or any Western uh, gacha that or mobile game, even if you can call it, that uh, puts you in a... It doesn't have the... Well, first of all, let's discuss the fact that the Genshin Impact is completely brand new IP and unique in its, like, everything is just built from scratch. Yeah, it's not some kind of, like, IP that's Marvel or whatever, uh, the IP that's already taken and they're trying to make a cash grab and run away. No, this the Genshin is completely brand new IP and everything is uh, the, the constructed, the story and everything. You, Developers, by the way, confirmed that they're they after the success of the game, they were not expecting it to blow up that way, and uh, they're even rewriting entire story after the Leo. So Inazuma got rewritten, and uh, the, yeah, the quality definitely improved. But yeah, whatever. So back to the my argument. So uh, Western games usually have this thing you probably noticed: pop-outs for uh, purchasing stuff. Oh, you buy that pack, a discount. Uh, the deal goes away in uh, twenty. Four hours, be fast. When you win something, battle or out of battle, or whatever. It's also a lot of these trash from cash grab games, idle games. You know the clickers, these uh, automated games. You know PvP stuff and all this like low brain capacity stuff that people still enjoy. But I mean, this is what mostly people hate about the mobile games, right? Where you have this annoying. Uh, uh, the push for uh, buying the currency and uh, ways to disgusting ways to make you spend money. Genshin, as uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, was inspired by the Japanese market of games where um, uh, you you don't have anything of that. You have the purchases, yes, but it's a separate thing and it doesn't. Uh, it's not th tossed in your face at all. The entire game is enjoyable on your own pace, slow pace. Uh, you uh, and uh, most important, there's no like PvP. There's no pay to win aspects. The, the quote unquote hardest content of the game is uh, just t optional, like dungeon where free to play can also beat it 100% fully. Uh, it's 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 great. There's no the, the by the way, the entire game is actually pretty easy. Like don't get to this whole thing. Oh, the whales spend. Yeah, you might have this perception. You've watched YouTubers uh, or streamers like Tectone, with one of the famous uh, content creators for Genshin, and you know watch the whale process and other whales uh, who like max out uh, the constellations for characters and weapons. And then they showcase how powerful it is, and uh, that is like required to be that powerful. <laughs> Fuck no, not at all. You can completely beat the, not just story, but every hard event that's uh, being tossed as uh, the we get the it to experience them couple every like couple weeks or so. Uh, I did play the uh, many gotchas in the past. Yes, yeah, so I have uh, my fair share of uh, opinions about. Uh, what is uh, h how to run away from bad gotchas, how to see the bad gotcha, how to like uh, see the uh, um, what does uh, developers like uh, uh, 
uh, how the, they treat their develop, uh, how the developers treat their fan base, how generous they're with currency, how quickly they're adapting to feedback, how quickly they're going to introduce the fix to the uh, interest that uh, pops out for the the players of the game. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, look at my background. I have Love Life poster. Right? It's relevant right now for many years, but I did play Love Life Squirrel Festival as one of my first mobile games. And oh boy, that the developers were, or the people who were behind like technical control of the game were one of the worst actually that I experienced. That they were, I mean, to this day, it still exists. Yeah, somehow, <laughs> but. They finally merged accounts to the global with the Japanese and all that. But well, yeah, it was such a mess. And uh, plenty of other games I played, they they do they do tend to become either like boring or just you know you become god at the game and it's not interesting anymore. And there's like same thing. They're just uh, they're not being innovative. This is another thing about innovation. Yeah, new things. The, the, for so many years, the the gacha game called Fate Grand Order was dominating the market and the world eventually, yeah? It was so good. The Genshin Impact is kind of like uh, the Fate Grand Order of the next gen and next genre and 3D and everything. So what happened? So Fate Grand Order was a phenomenal thing that back in the day. And it's based on this Fate franchise that a lot of people already love. And there's a lot of characters, a lot of like a wife whose husband does to Sim 4 and all that. Many other games in the franchise. So, and the story is phenomenal. There's, you know, people compared to Bible size story now with all the newest chapters. Yeah, it's that huge, by the way. It's bigger than Bible. But yeah, whatever. Uh, so the problem with the Fate Grand Order was that it's just, was stuck to the same application and it, it couldn't really evolve it's uh, even to this day uh, the limitations are clearly showing and uh, uh, outdatedness of the gameplay and um, unfortunately but yeah uh, fate grand order was such a huge influence is just like i mentioned fan arts was everywhere even to this day kind of still uh you, you, if you Google the famous uh, people of the hist, hist, history people, some famous uh, mythology characters and gods, you're actually going to... Uh, I'm not joking. If you Google, like, Nero Claudius, you're going to see the game art of the fate character instead of actually the real person. Or there's many other examples where, like, people make memes with history. Oh, there's some his history character. Yeah, like Shakespeare, Google face of the Shakespeare. Oh, it's going to be Shakespeare from the Fate Grand Order. <laughs> An animated, like, version of it. Or the gender bent, the fate series, like the gender bender characters as well. But yeah, uh, they had a lot of influence. Of course, um, most people who like, I guess, in a, in some form of uh, anime industry or gachas and all the gaming, they, you probably heard about the fate and uh, how big the influence of the fate ground order is. But yeah, it's still there. Six years now. We'll see what happens on the anniversary there. I wish them the best. But yeah, unfortunately, it's stuck in their own like bubble now and uh, no innovation there's unfortunately and that's where the genshin is taking one again a big step forward yeah this is what i i talked about a lot of my personal opinion here and uh i think i wanted to also mention something else well yeah this is like I mean, I could talk about the negative aspects of the Genshin Impact as well. Don't don't think it's like a perfect uh, game or by any means there's definitely that. But just uh, for the context of this discussion and industry and why the people cannot accept why the game is good and why it's successful, we have to bring those points in reality again. And there's Discord emotes for these characters from Genshin. Uh, this just uh, t once again TikTok, social social stuff, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Twitch, YouTube. This, uh, y y the Genshin is so huge that even if you log in th to YouTube through the anonymous account and stuff, there's a high chance that you're gonna see some Genshin video, like or, or thumbnail. I mean, it's it's crazy. And uh, we're gonna continue right now with the Nukes uh, video, and he's gonna bring even more points to my uh, package here. Пошли свои, значит, эти миллиард баксов заработаны. So the Millard, Miller, uh, I mean, uh, the, 
what's the billion dollars yeah the, in in english uh, no, there's no word for that billion dollars that genshin got they are putting a lot of putting the back and it's clearly visible because in in half year they they pull they poured all that money into them and now they're just buying the the advertisements for genshin in so many places the the entire japan as we speak of this uh, day of uh, on uh, recording the entire japan is filled with bills and uh, fancy uh, uh, ads and uh, animations and uh, on many various media entire japan is filled with genshin right now holy shit the entirety of Twitch since the Inazuma release is... Uh, the, the, you probably noticed that Genshin did a huge investment in Twitch. Not only they introduced the official Twitch channel, but they also made it the, uh, the, the exclusive... So basically the tr tr uh, reveal of the stream of the Inazuma, the, the biggest uh, update for the game. Basically, what is Inazuma? It's a new continent area w which expands the game by 50%. Entirety of the game gets like 50% bigger. More story, more characters, more areas to explore. Uh, think of the Zelda Breath of the Wild, but suddenly as a f f game for you to play, by the way, you get like 50% of everything more out of nowhere. And by the way, the f f uh, there's seven total regions for the Genshin or plant, and who knows what's going to be later in the future if the game's still going to be there. So yeah, we're s we're now at three, and uh, <laughs> and by the way, that also means that a lot of free stuff the players get. You don't have to pay anything, but you p you want to pay? Sure, support the devs and your game. Get a little. St I guess like some bonuses there and there, get some characters you like, but you don't have to spend anything. While on the other hand, uh, yeah, Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know, like full price, you play the game, you're done, forgot about it. No events, no social, no nothing, like, no live service after all. And yeah, what I was talking about, uh, so yeah, the pouring money into Twitch, and so they did a Inazuma preview stream, which was super hype event, like a Nintendo Direct, E3 kind of uh, scale of the viewership was there. I'm not joking, that's the scale of event. So that event was first aired on Twitch instead of YouTube and other, other places, Billy Billy. So they did that on purpose to make even more hype. And they paid a lot of popular streamers. Unfortunately, I'm not a streamer who is dedicated to Genshin. I did like a some mistake in that regard. <laughs> but uh, uh, like, you know, I, I, knew my, I knew my situation and the stance on uh, how my brand works, but I can discuss about it later. Yeah, uh, so basically every top tier streamer by default got also invited into an event and paid, uh, get paid for a lot of money to get sponsored stream uh, and support the viewing process of the, watching this event. And, uh, you know, Tekton, for example, got 50k viewers on oh, Gacha. That's ridiculous. That is outrageous. Back in my days of Gacha and all these uh, original games like Fate Grand Order, you know, Love Life Squirrel Festival and Puzzle and Dragons, whatever, like Fire Emblem Heroes, if you had 200 viewers, for example, you were already considered a super god streamer at the uh, Gachas. Because to find that many people, even the eSport Gacha games like Western, you know, Lord of Mobiles or whatever these, you know, the Clan Wars, Clash of Clans. If you ha if you were an independent streamer with like 100, 200 viewers, you already got. But now the Genshin Impact, 50k viewers. There is a streamer also below Tiktone who is close to that level of hype. 30k, 20k, 10k. It, it is insane. Like you can... You can just uh, take it by my word. Like I've been in industry of streaming for 11 years you know, since the start of the Justin TV, and I've seen a lot of things how the games blew up or who gets blew up and what kind of con the creator have to be. But yeah, the Genshin thing is just insane. <laughs> So the Twitch itself also have a lot of uh, Genshin advertisements, like the ones that you see on the streams. 
у нас есть Пайман. And one of the mind-blowing aspects of this promotion, the Genshin Impact paid so much apparently that the Twitch added just recently a global emoticon emoji on a site, the Paimon emoji um, emote. And that only happened to some over overrated, super crazy, like AAA games before in the past. And that also people like quickly forgot about. There was uh, some games who were added uh, emote on Twitch as a global emote, including Cyberpunk and some other games in the past, but like some events, eSport events maybe. And then they were so unpopular, they get removed even. So if you're a dedicated Twitch uh, user, by the way, you might go to the list of all global emotes and you're going to find out that pr probably you're not even using any of those or if they still exist that are game related. Most of them are, you know, just meme faces that, you know, like lols and what's not, capas. But uh, yeah, the Paimon is added and people are like literally right now spamming it everywhere, even on non-Genshin streams. Это, наверное, вообще первый раз на Твиче, когда я увидел эмотикон. And now uh, Nuke is also explaining the situation. I can, I can confirm it myself as uh, I see in all the development of the, how the Twitch adds global emotes. Популярные игры в глобале, серьезно, до этого там были какие-то посвященные, ну там отдельным, каким-то, бывало там какие-то игры, но они все были приурочены к чему-то, каким-то yeah, соревнованиям, еще там that. к чему-то, ну вот прям, чтобы просто они выкатили смайлик игры, такого вообще не было, блядь, ни разу на Твиче, серьезно, они вешали баннер Твича на главной, серьезно, я, по-моему, последний раз баннер... And also the, the banner on Twitch, this is also pretty rare, generally Twitch on main page doesn't have any banners, you know, like these Steam does global banner for the super releases but the only banner i remember was cyberpunk yeah the on release there was a fancy background banner on it the genshin also got it of all the things genshin Твича на главный, я хрен знает даже. Я не знал, что он там вообще может быть. He's saying he doesn't he was not even like he doesn't even knew that the front page had a banners even though he's been also he's one of the old school streamers i mean he mentioned nine years in industry so yeah can confirm Twitch on the главный серьезно они делали баннер Twitch на главный купили просто пиздец сколько бабла yes so holy fucking shit so much money invested yeah yeah на инозуму скупили вообще на всех стримеров инозуму release he he says that all the streamers get bought probably а, у Киберпанка был баннер, да? Well, no, no, of course, the only the big ones or the ones who are in the partner uh, uh, program. I'm full disclaimer, I'm not in the partner program because I... This is what I'm actually kind of aiming here. Uh, my community is kind of one of those, I guess, peop people who are more my li minority in this case, who don't understand the Genshin, yeah, and for uh, for any or wrong reasons, yeah, if there's uh, the argument's gonna bring up on a table if they're gonna start going against Genshin. Yeah, I, I one of the reasons for this video and why I got inspired to make translation here is actually to make a message here to the people who, uh, uh, for some reason, despise watching my streams of Genshin and just don't give it a chance. Don't don't give a chance to get, like I don't I I, I could understand the, the giving a chance to game, yeah, but like. I thought that we already understood that, you know, it's all about streamer and personality rather than games, right? But I clearly see this whole, like, kind of like subtle hate towards the the, the Genshin on, on my at least channel. It's, it's my problem because I don't have too many weebs. I don't have, like, I guess, I didn't stream the Genshin since the get-go for a lot of time. I just... The, the one times I tried it, like, I always got, like, oh, T Tornis, please continue with the Rogue Lights, uh, XCOM likes, you know, play some real games, play the, play, like, whatever, and, you know, uh, people were just looking at the Genshin as a shitty mobile game and some <laughs> cash grab as in, yeah, right. And look how the turns have, t t uh, how the tides have turned right now. But yeah, um, I would like to, I mean, obviously, like, the purpose of this video is not, like, hard uh, code you into changing opinion about something, and, and not at all. I just want to legitimately uh, 
give uh, like me a chance and enjoy the content I'm making uh, when I'm actually streaming a lot. I do a lot of effort for Genshin right now, especially as my. By the way, here is my personal situation on Genshin. I quit the game in 1.3. You know why I quit? Because after Dragon Spine. I that was a really good uh, update because it introduced a new area to explore. It was really hype. But after that, they just started making like these filler type of updates, but basically no store updates, no just the filler stuff. Yeah, and the game was kind of like not progressing. Yeah, and I wanted to Inazuma and uh, new locations and what's not. And yeah, it it was it was going in a direction of similar to the other Magacha games I played in uh, or playing r right now. Back in the day, I was still playing Arcanites, for example, uh, and uh, Fire Emblem Heroes and Fate. I'm still playing Fate. I quit others. I uh, I strategically generally when it comes to gachas, I become god, free to play god, uh, power level of I beat even. F like the top tier players in the ranking and basically I achieve everything in the game and I'm done like the game doesn't evolve and I get bored of it uh, in a way and it becomes a chore of uh, rather than gameplay and a game to enjoy but Genshin on the other hand it's uh, it's adventure it's uh, all over it's expanding thing and uh, I saw the evolution I saw the money poured in back in the game the quality the quality of Inazuma elements the textures the atmosphere the story the music if you see the Inazuma content and compare it to Liyue and uh, Mondstadt the first regions of the game you will like immediately see the difference of the uh, I mean you can even look at the presentation of Inazuma or stream that was like one hour long of official Genshin presentation the quality of trailers these PVs preview videos uh the the developers themselves were on the stage talking about the inspirations and how they work the, their 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 process of making content it's 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 truly inspiring. That's exactly what I want to see, like this whole love uh, cycle, essentially, and a passion and not some bullshit uh, and, uh, you know, stalling or uh, some cash grabs and um, obvious fan service uh, uh, milking like uh, weeps in a way. Yeah, uh, but you probably noticed that but Genshin Impact is a pretty serious game and a lot of like uh, emotional themes and it's not about fan service at all. You want fan service play fucking like Azur Lane or something and all these exclusive uh, girl only gachas with like, ludes uh, and uh, very, very provo sexy provocative uh, skins uh, of... Uh, that you had to pay money for and all that. There's plenty of those games. Genshin is not one of them, and it's, it definitely gets my respect. And the reason why I came back to that game uh, during 1.6 update, it was another update where they introduced a brand new exclusive region, basically, so that means a lot of new content to explore. But I also came back towards it because I knew Inazuma is soon coming. I'm following leaks. I'm in multiple community servers uh, who constantly discuss the game and what's not the news. I was in the loop. So I knew that the big stuff is coming and I was like ready for it and excited. But unfortunately not my community was that excited, I guess, about it. Or it's one of those games that I guess you 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 can play and enjoy, but you, you might not want to watch streams, even though like a lot of con I mean people like Tecton and the and plenty of others are proving every of those arguments wrong that uh, there's definitely gonna be a super 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 communities and uh plenty of people gonna stick together and enjoy watching people suffer having fun good laugh memes gacha rolls yeah it's, it's obviously good if you're a whale but uh, there's also famous uh free-to-play people like enviosity and uh this uh, other examples they also became like super uh, you know viral in terms of twitch i mean it's actually crazy these people that i mentioned they, they they're like they average on both youtube and twitch like five times more than quote-unquote successful uh established uh, old school uh twitch streamer of the past that was like top tier essentially and uh and man, man when people like xqc you know pokimane and uh, these uh absolute top tier creators yeah of the platform they get competed starting to get competed by of all the things freaking gotcha 
oh wow <laughs> my my entire world is like you know i i and i'm the people of course i understand and i adapt it and i see like i i'm not in denial about the success of this game i i it's not like i will i want to hate it because it's like oh it's taking all this attention from people and me and others and it's so annoying to see the console and all that well, if you're gonna be like that, then uh, it's easy way to get sh get a hate, especially on social media right now, for sure. Like you just don't want to get in the way for the people who are having a lot of fun there. And another thing I want to mention about why the Genshin Impact is such a such a exceptions compared to like other uh, viral projects like Fortnite or something. The game is not toxic. Yes, yeah, there were some controversies and some pe people on Twitter try to like some very, very minor v vocal minority try to try to make dirt on Miho and bring the, but there's other YouTubers and content creators who constantly make fun of the Twitter uh, posts like that and uh, the cancel cancel culture. So uh, there's all sorts of uh, attempts, but at the end of the day, the, the uh, you know, you can see the Discord, Reddit, and the, the, the community is absolutely not toxic. Uh, multiplayer is uh, all optional, by the way, in game. It exists, cooperative or multiplayer. Uh, there's no toxicity. The entire game is like you play on your own pace. And um, there's no competition really or anything. That's an important part because if you're going to discuss the viral projects, viral games, they're generally going to be the, the multiplayer PvP ones. Yeah, at one way or another, like MOBAs, all the shooters, and there's going to be a lot of toxicity. The, game, the gamers TM is going to show their true colors. This game shines the bright colors, the f f positivity, the smiles of the characters, all the stuff. There's like no violence pretty much. I mean, uh, the game aesthetics got inspired by the Zelda like I mean Genshin we're not gonna be here oblivious here Genshin Impact clearly uh, <laughs> inspired uh, in stole even some of the concepts of the Zelda Breath of the Wild to become that uh, at the launch successfully as yeah, like a lot of enemies at the beginning of the game are very similar to the like the the animations of some early characters were but yeah whatever <laughs> it's the China is uh, famous for doing that and uh, it doesn't matter because they created their own IP, their world, and it's uh, it's uh, the effort here is just uh, insane, yeah. And it's uh, even in Zuma, I I I believe like even all of the big and small haters and the the disbeliever peoples will change their opinion about the phenomenon of the Genshin impact. All right, let's continue. Ah, у киберпанка был мотикон. Ну вот. So yeah, where the nuke was talking about uh, the investment of money and emo uh, the g to which global emails and yeah, the, the cyberpunk one was also exist, but it didn't matter because who cared about emoji of cyberpunk? Yeah, and now he's comparing another interesting fact about also global emails. Paimon wasn't added when Genshin was released. Mine one was just added a few days ago, like literally right now, after almost one year. <laughs> but mo mo most of all these paid projects, you know, Cyberpunk and what's not, AAA, uh, they w they were uh, promoted in a campaign on a release date to oh, supplement. Yeah, so he's just like, yeah, <laughs> Genshin uh, have an uh, upper hand here in that argument as well. И ни у кого, видимо, никак не укладывается в голове, и всем хотят, всем хочется доебаться до геншина. And uh, yeah, again the same thing he's repeating. It's just like people cannot accept it, understand why the Genshin is like so awesome, and uh, they they want to like uh, you know fuck with the game and do something negative about it, but. Uh... Все пытаются как-то вот, ну где же дрочили, ну в Геншин, это мобильный гейм, как вот just дрочилов какие, the grind shit. I mean, just you play the same fucking grinds, you know, you play Diablo, Dota, whatever, like all the other games you prefer. This most likely gonna be the grind shit anyway. Yeah, the lols, League of Legends, Dota. 
И такой, ну ты же аниме там, бля. Да лол, what the fuck, the half, 50% of the, the players don't even care about uh, anime aesthetics, they, they, they just care about the, here the cartoon aesthetics and style, and yeah, this is true, I, uh, I can confirm myself since I am active in social media, uh, a lot of people who are like completely not in whole this anime, they, you know, no, no Naruto, Dragon Ball Z and all that, just uh, they just uh, start playing or experimenting with the game or try and interact because of the peer influence and social influence uh, rather than their uh, hobbies or it's not the case at all all this i i really hate uh, and it's sometimes like i guess hard to prove it but uh I mean, well yeah i guess <laughs> you just have to take a word for uh for me the, about you know if if you don't have your own examples of how you per perceive this in your social circles, um, that uh, it's not uh, exclusive. I mean, if th if this was true, if only weebs were really like the the ones who are playing and liking it, that that, that would not spike the popularity. I mean, uh, there's plenty of games like this just for weebs. Even Fate Grand Order, the example that it gave, it was also kind of catered towards the global audience. That's why it succeeded worldwide. So it became an influential experience for people who didn't even care about the Fate franchise at all, and they had no ideas about animes, novels, uh, light novels, books, and uh, then of course later other games, and they just wanted to experience the Fate Grand Order, it's like storyline and uh, the, the, uh, the system with servants there and stuff. Yeah, the Genshin is uh, this whole argument that it's weeps and anime can go fuck itself, right? Людей, играющих в Genshin, срать хотели на аниме, аниме не смотрели никогда, им просто нравится стилистика, а Genshin просто приятно. He's saying the same things I already translated. Все, и вот это вот, никто, никто никак не может принять. И начинается оттуда срач, типа. Ну, ваш Genshin гриделка, ну, твоя Диабло такая же гриделка. Oh, yeah, the Genshin is grind fest. Oh, well, your Diablo is also grind fest. They're perfect, so... Нет, это другое. No, it's no. The my Diablo is sacred. It's it's different. Don't compare it. Or yeah, that's true. Yeah, don't compare my sacred to your sacred. В общем, про это можно рассуждать долго. Но я... Yeah, and uh, he's saying that you can discuss about it for for a lot of time and many hours. And <laughs> as I'm looking at the recording of this video, it's literally one hour six seventeen minutes is, uh, right now. Yeah, and I this is actually going live. This is my life process. I'm not, I don't have a script. I don't have a paper here with all the thoughts. It's so a pardon my long I guess video, but I feel like I'm actually one of those. I, 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 I'm making this video and I am reminding myself that I probably look like, uh, I don't know, Derek from uh, More Plates, More Dates, all these uh, uh, athletes uh, the, and uh, bodybuilding industry videos where they like to uh, make a reaction videos and reply to other videos and content creators and they do an analytical like um, replies with the 30 minutes, one hour long videos. <laughs> Shout out to the coach Greg and uh, Derek and uh, many others who are doing those. And I mean, not just bodybuilding uh, industry, just I watch that because I'm just working out and I kind of like that info. But uh, I mean, a lot of communities like to do these reaction videos. If I was a YouTuber, actually, more than a streamer, I'd probably also, like, maybe do this more, but hey. I don't understand people, and people don't want to understand it. But only I can say that from my streamer's point of view, when I'm a fool... And uh, uh, he's still saying that, you know, people just c c still cannot accept it, and uh, in, uh, in, from his streamer's career perspective, he can certainly say he he's he was eight years streaming like he was streaming non-popular games that he liked and enjoyed a while with his community and he, the games that were not liked in russia the the place where he, he's russian streamer because it's not obvious in russian community he's not bilingual in or all anything and the fucking eight years 
Мне все тыкали и все говорили, что я... And everybody was pointing out that it's a nuke. Какая ты там персона non grata. Ты типа, да, ну да, вот ой, в эти игры играют там только нюк и вот там... Oh nuke. yeah, all this, uh, all this niche games, it's only the nuke is gonna play them. Oh, Есть зрителей. Oh, там... only 200. By the way, 200 viewers, concurrent viewers, is still a huge number these days in terms of like success, but still... Uh... For the context, Nuke is averaging right now 1,000, uh, 2,000 viewers on a Genshin streams, and he literally just does Genshin right now, every day. Oh, anime games, Nintendo games. Uh, he was a huge Nintendo fanboy back in the day, and this is how he made a career for himself, by the way. And uh-huh. And now I discovered the Genshin power. It's just like he's he's like being Tekton right now. Yeah, Tekton was hardcore like playing for Arcanize, and then he realized the power of Genshin Impact, and then he abandoned Arcanize because of. Well, I mean, you can watch Tekton's video about it. I'm no reason to discuss about it here <laughs> but yeah uh Tekton did a very good um switch in terms of his career and uh like r- r- ride the, the hype of complete land he's also i i mean Tekton is a this his personality is very interesting he got this like kind of like a shouting hype uh, a hyperactive type of uh, person so pretty much the opposite of me But a lot of uh, like casuals slash you know casuals going to quote and uh, the younger audience they actually very like this stuff and uh, they're gonna get attracted to this more on average so that's why uh, one of the reasons why it's even blew up even more because there's a lot of younger audience playing the and another reason why on my channel Genshin is kind of like not exactly understood quote unquote is that uh my community uh, generally is like 30 plus years old gamers basically like me uh of the old era and uh, this is why people actually like specifically watching like old games but unfortunately for my business yeah it's uh, like i do play the new games and uh, the the new releases uh, which align to interest but um As much as I like to support your idea of, you know, playing like, you know, old classic masterpieces uh, these days, it's like hurting the channel a lot and um, both on YouTube and Twitch. So it's hard to sell this and the scurability issues. And uh, another thing that tw- uh, Genshin specifically is just the scurability of that game is nuts, It, especially after an Azuma, like everybody got such a boost. If you had thousand viewers before, you got maybe three thousand now. If you were at five hundred, you got maybe thousand now. I see it. I follow a lot of streamers who switched to Genshin or already were playing at lots, and I see that growth. And uh, in fact, in the Nukes case, literally as a day of this stream that he recorded, normally he got like one hundred followers, but this day. He got 3,000 something followers. That's <laughs> insane. 3,000 just from the one Genshin stream, yeah. And uh, even s- smaller Genshin streamers like me, I also noticed even even with my anti Genshin like kind of like mood and from my community, I still see the 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 numbers higher because of the whole like G- Genshin. Twitch category is followed by two million people. The, the, you know you can follow categories of games on Twitch, yeah? Two million follows on a game category. And I stream a game that's, I don't know, some roguelite or indie. I stream a game that have maybe hundreds of followers. Specifically people who want to see content of it and eventually make like it's it's <laughs> it's a bit why even have discussion like that? And then he's just uh, making point that he's like, he found his niche now and uh, he t- he also r- r- ride the hype and managed to get on a- ahead of the game and now one of the best top Russian streamers for Genshin. Oh, by the way, Nuke, I, I think you're going to watch this maybe even on stream, I don't know, but I want to say this. I, I know we had uh, our own careers and choices to make in the past. Uh, I'm just gonna bring here a little cool personal uh, facts. So uh, uh, you already heard that he's like nine years, uh, I mean, <laughs> nine years old. 
<laughs> He's uh, nine years in in uh, industry and career. I am eleven, and uh, we all started from one place called st2tv.ru. This was uh, back in the day one of the most uh, important places for like smaller beginning streamers. And basic basically, when the streaming was booming and just born, uh, getting born as a the thing. Uh, and before it became like any kind of even business for, or it was just a hobby for a lot of people. So there was this kind of community hub for um, um, on some like Liquid TV, for instance, had, Liquid uh, TV had StarCraft related streams and all sorts of fan streams. But the Russian side, SCTTV.ru had uh, expanded on the idea to um, instead of just StarCraft streams, let's just expand to anything really. And everybody could come to the site and uh, try to sign up to be a, a content creator. And if they're accepted by the uh, the admins, moderators and jury, essentially uh, people's cl classic uh, certified people who are like, they know, they judge the people by the quality, their skill and uh, the way to sp their speech and uh, Basically, they, they evaluate people, and if they pass, they, they go and become official, like, kind of streamer for that portal. And the reason why there's such a strict, well, not strict, but the reason that it's an application system, because that site was generating a lot of traffic. Just back in the day, like, goodgame.ru, another one of those biggest cy cyber sport, esports communities there, and uh, it uh, transformed itself later on into streamer hub as well. So in other words, what uh, that site was basically embedding players from Justin TV, Twitch, or any other platform that was existing back then that are died right now. Um, so uh, you were embedding your player and people were watching with the, the chat. There was a, a separate chat and separate community. A lot of it was really huge. And this is how I personally grew up as a content creator. And I'm very thankful for it. It's like you can write biography for that. I, can talk about it for hours as well. But yeah, personally, I was invited to that site. Eventually I became like official um, streamer. Then I became moderator. Then I became administrator for it. So I like grew the by this, you know, steps and ladders in the, the in the, that regard. But the reason I mentioned this, so I, I was in um, a jury and I was moderator for the um, the system that they had uh, when you uh, review a streamer uh, applications of future feature streamers and I, I, it's not like to flex or anything but i want to make it uh, known and, and people and i respect by the way that these guys still remember their roots and why they're you know essentially the, what they are right now so uh Interesting fact is that Nuke73, and by the way, another famous Russian streamer that blew up in popularity uh, because, well, uh, they, they had their well, very good reasons to. Um, Gutman, uh, Gutman and uh, the Will of Games TV. Uh, if you're Russian, you know these guys, of course. If you're not, you maybe heard about them one time, especially Will of Games TV. He's like more known in the English sphere. So these three uh, examples there, they, we are very good like bodies in that regard since for many years. And uh, I'm actually the person who is responsible for accepting them in uh, the, the SCTTV.ru, aka giving them platform, giving them opportunity to become, to giving them audience, like helping rating them and uh, uh, interacting and it's just all sorts of, well, there was a huge, it's like a Twitch, Russian Twitch. So SCTV was like a Russian Twitch, if you think about it, its own chat and community and things, the events on front page and what's not. So yeah, it was uh, <laughs> like that basically. And it's, it's, it, I'm very proud of you guys and including you, uh, uh, Nuke. Um, 73 that to this day you're still going strong just like me uh, Gutman and many others who I accepted as well and very nice to see you. even though our path didn't align uh, in the future yeah I became separated from you guys and I I became a bilingual streamer and I wanted to support um, well I, I became like viral and famous back in 2013-14 when I did my like XCOM stuff and some hardcore challenges in Terraria and what's not you know back in the day I had like two th 
3K concurrent viewers, sort of the stars of the pit. But yeah, the times change, the games change, meta change, so the less people want to care about hard uh, core difficulties or any kind of like this skill in general. They want just entertainment and uh, funsies, memes uh, and uh, hype. It's 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 all like how it is, but you know we're adapting. We're still here, and uh, it's it's definitely. Um, it, what can I say? It's definitely uh, much harder to be like uh, almost alone, to be like without any support uh, as a content creator. You you want to collab, you want to talk, you on social, and I'm very happy and uh, like blessed that I that I basically I still have this network of people that. I can rely and they can rely on me. It was in the past like that with all the people I just mentioned here in the Russian streamers. But yeah, we we went their separate ways. They they couldn't let there was like a lot of memes around me because I couldn't could betray them when I started talking in English. It's all good. Yeah, I I, I could theoretically moved on to the Russia and started living nearby them and, and participate in all these events. And same thing I could have done in the in English side of things. I could have moved to America, but I'm actually very glad I didn't. But that's a different story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this is what a uh, like a personal note and. Uh, and as you see, I'm making a video about uh, Nuke 73 and his opinion. I still watch it and uh, uh, want to make it clear that I do appreciate all the past and, uh, and, and the present as well. So let's continue. And now a huge amount of people are playing Genshin, and uh, he's saying that Genshin popularity on Twitch specifically just last month blew up even more. And I expanded that already before, you know, examples like Tekton, 50k concurrent viewers. What the fuck is this thing? 50k viewers? Yeah, this is just not this is not Nintendo which blocks on YouTube all the music videos. Oh, you know, Ol Olympic games are happening right now. You know why there is no Nintendo songs on Olympics? Because the copyright, all these, the ah, Japanese and they're outdated, like the CEOs and suit people that don't understand how the internet works and. The, like Nintendo literally made a tweet during E3 about Nintendo Direct that don't restream basically uh, or get DMC and all that. So don't. <laughs> there, <laughs> that was so sad. And... But yeah, it's Nintendo. It's Japan. Expected. And yeah, and because of that, he says that. More, more people are uh, their bots are on their fire. They like, they basically don't accept the truth. And uh, now he's gonna. Basically, he finished his main speech, and uh, I know that he's gonna talk about some. Well, he's basically gonna answer chat questions for like two minutes there's another thing he says uh, i'm gonna finish uh, this whole video with that i think it's here somewhere yeah Ah, yeah, that was a question in chat that, oh, I actually followed you because of Genshin. Yeah, because, so, so and he starts like, uh, yeah, there's so many people right now playing Genshin, both mobile and PC. Uh, he, he mentions, by the way, more arguments later on, but he made the video like 13 minutes. Uh, There's like actually for the uh, next 30 minutes of his stream, he also continued some expanded on some thoughts. But yeah, the multi platform, cross save, mobile, the fact that there's such quality game is supported on mobile. What the fuck? That is crazy. I mean, I don't recommend playing Genshin on mobile, by the way, but if you, this is the only option, I guess, and you don't have PC and notebooks, and I guess you can, but. 
Yeah, the, this um, mobile is a little scuffed on the controls. Yeah, it's a mobile availability and accessibility. And those same people who like quote unquote normal games, normal Drachilovka, aka the grind, they, these people moved on to enjoy and at least try out the Genshin. Ты можешь сколько угодно кричать про мобильные бездушные донатные дрочильни, только в них сейчас играет большинство. А это значит, что они могут быть качественными. And no matter how many you're gonna cry about the mobile gaming and how many of these soulless shit uh, mobile games, which is true, there's a lot of bad ones and you run away from them. But there's gonna be from time to time a quality product that will blow your minds how good it is. And that's simple as that. There is the quality. Surprise. And on that note, yeah, this is a good ending of the video here. I'm gonna also end my video here on this. I expressed already a lot of my additional opinion. Nuke, sorry, this is gonna be a little long video, I guess. But yeah, uh, <laughs> even though I didn't prepare a script or anything, I still decided to speak my mind here. And once again, a special message to my community. Once again, I kind of, I just see, I, I see this perception on my streams, uh, live streams when I do the Genshin. There's people who like, there's silence. They don't want to speak up. They want to trash talk the Genshin, but they don't want to because they don't want to hurt my like feelings or something. Please, by the way, trash talk the game. I will do the discussion with you. I want to debate. I want will I will do the talking with you. Don't be shy. I'm ready for it. Like this, definitely Genshin is not once again perfect game by any means, uh, and I will bring the negative aspects about it as well. Uh, but uh, please, I want to see like some kind of like activity, love and uh, or uh, the arguments against uh, like, just don't be silent. This is, this doesn't help me. I want to see the progress. I want to see what, what can I fix? What can I like uh, bring on a table? Uh, how I can make maybe Genshin streams more interesting? Do I have to become whale? Do I have to like, you know, <laughs> crowdfund the banners or something for you guys to enjoy. I mean, clearly I see when I started rolling Ike, I, I, my viewership spiked by two times, basically. I mean, bruh. <laughs> but yeah, it's obvious people like watching gacha rolls and salt and artifacts being rolled. But yeah, um, I don't know, like, just my finishing uh, point here is once again, I... I completely understand. I'm also in the 30s, yeah, now, and uh, this is like game for kids, mobile thing, but uh, I don't know, like, you, you can watch my streams all the, I'm literally uh, playing the storyline of the Inazuma, which is, in my opinion, is like three times better written than the previous stories, even though I like Leo's story. Uh, you can see the difference in quality there in that Inazuma in general uh, in many ways. It's just uh, like, it, it's this free game with uh, such a massive scale and you can ignore all this obnoxious social media stuff about simping of characters, you know, all the wives and husbands and uh, still, still like try it out, play it a little bit and uh, essentially understand why I also stream the game and not just some from some because it's uh i i was also one of the og people of genshin after all i literally was hyped for the release and i did stream it then but once again i was pushed into the uh, i was pushed away from streaming genshin because of how badly it was perceived uh, in terms of stats and uh you know uh but maybe yeah i just i don't have enough reach for the weeps or the people I don't know, maybe needs to like, recommend my stream more to the weeps and to the people who like Genshin more. Because I, I know, like, based on Discord, I can see, like, a lot of people are literally playing Genshin as, you know, they display it on their profiles, and a lot of people do um, enjoy it. It just... Uh, basically, bring it on. 
Uh, if you if you already uh, managed to reach here to the end of this video, uh, thank you so much for uh, listening and, and uh, you know slowly analyzing and all that stuff. Maybe I help you to realize the tr uh, the not just the truth, but the the why the stupid game is everywhere and uh, the it's just yeah it's poor money marketing. Uh, no non-stop like every day there's this twitter worldwide trend on it so yeah this is crazy 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 and it's not toxic it's it's fun and it's it's like shiny uh, positivity and it's not multiplayer pvp annoying game toxic multiplayer it's not nothing like that yeah i personally also like i'm i despise some of the things like you know uh, the 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 Fortnite with these cringe dances and what's not is, you know, I, I also back in the day was calling it a game for kids and all that. I mean, people still do it, I guess. And uh, even, you know, Amogus, Amogus uh, memes and uh, the, the um, Fall Guys, you know, the multiplayer toxic game that turned to be multiple. The, the Fall Guys was supposed to be a party game, but it turned out to be such a toxic fest. Yeah, and even like Undertale community became t very toxic at the end, and even a single player experience, but yeah, completely different genre, different world, and once again, characters are kind of alien and monsters instead of just humans. A lot of factors are played in the uh, Genshin Impact favor for when the game was released. They definitely did that. So genre the timing the 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 hate for the industry the disappointment in the industry in general they wanted something fresh new a revolution 3d gacha multi-platform humanoid actual human characters who can relate to their very attractive both uh male and female uh, uh that's I'm just repeating myself. Thanks for watching. I will hope that ho hope that uh, the video will render quickly on YouTube, and I, I want to stream and do, do my next thing. But yeah, that is the red pill video. Translation, <laughs> yeah, the translation video of the 13 minutes turned to be for almost two hours. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A turn style stalling and uh, all analytical thinking and all of the experts. But yeah, I welcome everybody to debate me on Genshin situation about the gaming industry and Genshin or any other major game in a uh, situation that it... I mean, like Final Fantasy XIV, I guess, or some other examples that are very popular on Twitch. I'm happy to do that. In fact, I I, I want it to happen. I Because I know like a lot of people are watching my streams on Genshin, but they're just like... They're silent. They 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 don't uh, get into the mood or something. Uh, get some. Don't don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Let's go and everybody enjoy the enjoy the Inazuma uh, who are playing the game. Good luck on your rolls. Uh, Two point one version Baal is coming and all the other characters except for Miko. Yeah, Miko is not in one two point one for some reason. I guess they're saving for 2.2 .2 in the future versions, but yeah, <laughs> plan your uh, wallet and prima gems and what's not. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.